Hello everybody, welcome to more Inconsistent Bookworm, and I'm here to talk about something I think some folks may not be talking about as much, probably because they don't know about it. In fact, I just picked this up just because I was like, hey, the artwork looks cool on the inside and on the cover, and I, I dragons, because we're going to get into, of course, Drifting Dragons, Volume 1, because we can't just start at Volume 2, because that wouldn't make any sense, we're not heathens. <laughs> So, to go over Drifting Dragons, and the reason why it first caught me, caught my eye, is the fact that first off, as you can tell, this is a very kind of steampunk kind of look for everything. And to be fair, it's about people on airships hunting dragons for food, for selling, and all that other fun stuff. Pretty much they are venture capitalists. <laughs> Yeah, they use it to help pretty much fuel their whole mission of what they do, which is just selling dragon parts the whole time. And I was like, okay, that's going to be cool. Maybe there's going to be you know some intrigue here. Maybe there's going to be more to it than just that. And sadly, no. <laughs> All right, so Drifting Dragons has some good and bad things. First off, there is the main character, of course, this guy right here, pretty much. His name is Mika, or Mika, I believe. M I K A. But that's however you want to. He, in pretty much, is Spike from Cowboy Bebop. He's very laid back, kind of easygoing, kind of almost reckless at times, but still kind of just that cool guy. You know, he does all the cool things and s somehow saves the day despite himself at times. And also, he is a big, you know, lover of dragon meat. And and if I can also say one thing this book has in spades, strange enough, is dragon recipes. If you want to know how to cook dragon meat, this book's got recipes. A lot of them. If there is one weird thing about all that, it's the fact that we're... Would have been one thing if it was just once it did that. It does it in every single chapter, sometimes twice in a chapter. You are going to consistently have them talking about food that you cannot eat because it doesn't exist. There is no dragon meat. There is no way to make dragon meat. Unless you consider a Komodo dragon, take a dragon, and it ain't a dragon. It's a big ass lizard. And it's. It's it's weird every time it does it because it has to like show you like ah oh, here's a dragon terrine you know here's how you make a dragon flambe you know it's shit like that that it's like okay this is like regular kind of meats it's making different cuts sometimes pork would be usually used sometimes steak or beef it just depends but it keeps making a big deal about you know using dragon for it. And it gives you, like, the actual recipes on how to make it. And even the characters talk about how long you're supposed to cook it and everything. And it's odd. It's really odd. And it kind of always took me out of the book every time it happened. And also, because of that, that is the crux of the actual entire book. It's all about hunting dragons to get a new dragon recipe that Mika gives you or somebody else happens to know. That one of the married crew members happens to know. It's another issue that the book has. There is also a young girl who is kind of the, like, side character. Her name is Tikita, I believe is how it's pronounced. She is a, a newbie. She's, you know, just joined up with them. She's kind of not sure of herself. She kind of gains, you know, certainty through, you know, dragon fights and all that. And she becomes a bear hunter because of it. And that's cool. That's really neat. But other than that, it's like there's a lot of other characters that kind of get mushed together. I begin to like mix them up. I don't really pay attention to them as much as I probably should. Others, I quickly forget who the hell they are and they get brought back. I'm like, oh yeah, that's a character, I guess. And honestly, the book suffers from actually way too many characters constantly being introduced to us. And they're not being a plot. Like, literally the plot of each chapter is exactly the same. You have to hunt dragon, hunt dragon, kill dragon, make delicious meal, and talk about delicious meal. Like, the only one that I actually kind of cared about was between this 
uh, Takeda and this one character, she's kind of a trunk in a way. At least that's how people kind of make fun of her. And she actually is a person who seems to have went through some kind of trauma. And they kind of have like a moment together. And it's actually kind of touching. And it's dropped the next chapter. It's it's very bizarre. Like this is constantly like, hey, here's this. Here's this. None of this really flows together. And that's a big issue. It's like there's never any actual like constant narrative. Sure. We don't need them fighting a single fucking clown dragon for an enti the entire volume. Lord knows I tear my teeth out if I had to put up with that again. But I would like, you know, something, some kind of like actual like threat, some kind of agency, something to move it forward beyond just hunting dragons. There is no other plot other than them hunting dragons. It's like they had a really cool idea, had some cool character designs. Don't don't get me wrong, a lot of it's really cool. It's beautiful artwork too. Super stylized, super well detailed. There's so much good details going in throughout the special and dragon designs and even the people designs. But my god, is none of it interesting. There's not a lot that really makes you care about any of it in fact by the time you get done with it you're like okay i read it i didn't hate it i didn't care though and that's the problem just by the time you get done with all this there's no gives a shits about it the characters are a little too they're just two-dimensional the entire time this one is male and has slight characteristics this one is female has slight characteristics everybody else is paper thin at best so because that you can't latch on anybody, you don't really care about them. A lot of them, like I had to read up on this again shortly before doing this to remember some of the characters' names. And that's the problem. It's like I didn't read this that long ago and I don't remember a single character in this. None of the characters stick with me. Like My Hero Academia, I remember or Bakugo. I remember Deku. I remember Toriyama. Actually, I'm sorry. I'm pronouncing his name a little. I think it's Tok Tokiyama. You know, I remember a lot of the different characters. Or, or worse, I still remember what they look like. If I don't 100% remember their names. I remember these people. Why can't I remember anybody in Drifting Dragons? One, they do kind of have the problem. They kind of wear their helmets a lot, so they kind of all blend together. But more importantly, there's nothing interesting about any of them. I don't get any character development for them for the most part. Like, I know nothing about uh, the main character at all. I don't know, very, I know very little about Takeda except for she doesn't really have any more family or anything. Did they all die? What the hell happened? Did they just give up on her? Yeah. So it's, it's hard to recommend this. I... I need another volume to make a 100% decision. If it just carries the same trap, it's just nothing but dragon recipes and hunting dragon and then done and they go do it again, do it again, do it again, and then maybe, oh, one character dies that we didn't really know about. Maybe it's just not worth it. But like right now, I cannot say I can recommend it to somebody. It's not that it's egregiously bad. There is nothing overtly terrible about this. But there really isn't anything really you give a shit about. And that's the problem. You just don't care about any of this. By the time you get done, you're just like, well, that was the thing I read. Yay. I don't know. If y'all read Drifting Dragons and actually disagree, let me know. I'm curious. I just... I, I Like I said, I don't hate this. I just don't give you any shits. I really am woefully uninterested in it all. I just feel very meh the entire time. But that's my opinions. Let me know yours below. Oh, but hey, until next time though, we're gonna get into some more mangas, of course, because I got a little bit of a backlog I've built up. Most of I can give y'all quite a few videos to mulch through. <laughs> but until then, I will see you all later, so <laughs> bye-bye everybody.